Jürgen, first of all, we'll start with the disappointment because uh, I just wonder how Fabinho is and how he's reacted to what clearly is a massive disappointment to miss out on the cup final. And obviously, you said there is a good chance he will be back whenever, not for the weekend, but whenever. Does that mean a chance for Southampton or Wolves? Are you thinking it will be the European Cup that you'll have Fabinho available? In? He will definitely be back for, be back for, the, for the final, uh, for the Champions League final, um, and before we will see. So we don't know. That's it. How so the, absolutely okay. Fab is a. Uh, professional, he was obviously not happy about it. That's clear, but he he took it. He's already um, uh, taking on the, the, the fight against time. If you want, um, that's how it is. It's not enough if you are ready on Friday before the final. So it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. And we are working on that. And we are we are all very positive that it will be the case. So he's he's absolutely okay. The fact you've already beaten Chelsea in the League Cup final, how much more difficult opponents does that make them this time around? Yeah. Oh, of course, that's clear because um, it was not he didn't beat Chelsea. <laughs> we won the penalty shootout, uh, one of the craziest shootouts ever. So, and uh, we, we know that um, in football, we said a couple of times, without luck we have no chance. And that night, um, I think luck was a bit more on our side in the penalty shootout during the game. It was a tough game, tight game, and we we, we know how good Chelsea is. And um, so, yeah, we expect another. Tough one, so that's it. But it's FA Cup final. Both teams will go with all they have, and um, that's what I expect from Chelsea, and especially what I expect from us. And um, what we, what I really love about the Carabao Cup, that we all realized um, how big an occasion Wembley is in these moments, and uh, with all the people in, and it, it felt outstanding. And want to have that again, of course. So, to what level can a second cup success elevate the season and win? Or lose, I imagine the drills. We are, we are, we are, in this case, we are judged from outside. So people will say, you're good, not good enough, whatever these kind of things. I, I cannot um, have no influence on that and I don't really think about it. Um, for us, we don't see it as a, a, a row of trophies or whatever. <laughs> we never won the FA Cup. I never won the FA Cup before. Most of my players never won it before. Um, I don't even know if anybody probably was. was, was Millie won the FA Cup. Anybody's well prepared here in this room? <laughs> yeah. Would be a surprise. Win yeah. So Millie is the only one who won it before. Sorry. Okay, that that's not okay. Saying something like that. <laughs> so he won it in 2011. That's all the information you need. <laughs> um, um, so for all the rest, obviously, would be the first time um, we really we are really looking forward to to this opportunity. We worked. The boys work their socks off to to arrive there uh, with all the different challenges over here, and that's now a um, massive final for us. And yeah, really happy that we are part of. Thank you, Vinny. That's Julia. Uh, Jürgen, you've spoken in the past about the record of Liverpool in this competition. Obviously, it's been a Did while I? since Liverpool have actually got it. Just reference that. Um, I don't think sacrifice isn't the right word, but you talked about re establishing Liverpool to where it is now, and it's a competition that maybe was sort of down the pecking order to sort of achieve and put where Liverpool is as a team in a club presently. Can you just talk a little bit more about that? Because obviously now you've given it your all this season to get to the final. Yeah, we did all, we always gave our all to, to arrive to go to the final, we just didn't make it. So, um, for different reasons. And when you, I actually don't think I said all these kind of things that, um, uh, but maybe I'm just too old and can't remember stuff but what is clear when you when you try to to when you when, or when you start uh, a journey of what we did obviously six seven years ago I cannot have it all so that's how it is and we had not we had not the, the squad for for going for all that's how it is so we had to make changes everybody makes changes during a, during the FA Cup campaign during Carabao Cup campaign that's how it is but um, some teams when they make changes you don't realize and think they make changes and it's still a great team that was for, for us the case this year not all the time because we had a lot of really young talents in this competition involved as well um, the most important thing when you when you start new if you want is to qualify for the Champions League so that's what you have to do that's the most important stuff because that gives you the resources for making the next step that's 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 the truth that gives you the chance to sign players who want to play Champions League all these kind of things and that's why everything else has to stay left and right so um, and that's how we had to do it but it was never that we didn't um, 
want to go to the final, not at all. It's just we we, had, we didn't have the the power, mm -hmm. um, manpower to do it, and that's why we, we lost. We I don't think we were particularly lucky with our draws. To be honest, <laughs> we had really tough opponents as well, um, but that's absolutely fine. And so now, who cares what happened the last six seven years? It's our first final, FA Cup final, and we are really really really. Um, Desperate to win it. That's that's how it is. We we want. And um, but you know we have an opponent who sees exactly the same. Liverpool won it last time. When was two thousand six? When was it? Six. I think Chelsea won it since then three or four times, if I'm right. So um, you could say they won it often enough. Not sure they see it like this, but um, so they're obviously um, cup specialists. Um, um, they had different. Um, Opportunities that time, different possibilities, um, and these kind of things, and that's why they are just um, they wanted that often. Um, but um, we want to give it a try. Actually, that's a plan, proper try. Of course, you may. Thank you. Um, you, you You're in a really good mood. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you beat Manchester City in the semi-final, we spoke to you after. You said it was one of the best, one of Liverpool's best performances. So, are you expecting? To sort of dig a performance out like that again. Completely different game. It's a completely different game. Uh, but um, yes, we, we better play really good. That's true. So City, uh, Chelsea is a, um, a really well well coached team. I have to say. So they have an idea for all different areas of the game. So that's how it is. It's um, play a similar system to other teams, but. A different level. Um, they have they're very organized defensively. They have offensively incredible talent. We have no idea how the, how how Thomas will line up. For example, there are so many different options um, in yeah in offensive area. Werner, Chish, and Harvards didn't start the last game. Um, could all three start? For example, gives a complete different dynamic to Lukaku Mount. And Pulisic, these kind of things, um, can play with two strikers, um, uh, can play with one and two tens. Um, the only thing that's pretty, I think, pretty clear is that they defend with three, five, um, uh, um, five in the last line. Um, and then from their moment, from that moment on, we don't know exactly if they have three midfielders, two midfielders, um, and that's it. Um, very interesting to prepare, to be honest. That's how it is. And. Um, yeah, we it's, it's look. We, we play a final, have a cup final. It would be a real surprise if we meet a, a, a weak team in that in, a, in that in that final. Um, I'm not sure how it was in the past, but obviously, since I'm here, all all big guns are really going for it. Are really going for it. We just didn't have the power to to keep um, to keep uh, us in the competition. But um, now we had it, and now we are there, and now we want to have the full prize. Rich from BBC Television and Carl from Radio Mass. Hello, Jürgen. Hi. Uh, we know uh, we've seen many times because of the history and tradition of what the FA Cup means, not just here but around the world. We've heard Thiago and Virgil van Dijk talking about what it would mean to them to win the competition. Has it been what did a, they say? They said it would mean a lot. <laughs> Has it, uh, yeah. Wow. Surprisingly. Yeah. Has it been a, a dream of yours, Jürgen, since you, since you came to football? No, I didn't dream that big, to be honest. Um, I, I, I never was like this. I didn't. I, when I started as a coach, I didn't dream to become German champion. I didn't think I ever will be part of the Champions League. It's just you do what you do, and, and you, why should I think uh, what kind of things can happen in the in the in the far future? So no. Um, spoke now a lot about it. I'm, I know that it, it is the biggest domestic cup competition in the world for sure. But it is like um, I was um, since 20 years involved in professional football, and since then we have usually games ourselves on these kind of dates. Is anyway either way you play yourself or there's a German Cup, whatever was quite frequently. Um, I just it's not that I watch now um, 20 FA Cup finals or whatever, but I don't think that's necessary to to understand how how big it is and it would mean the world to us. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. And um, I think um, this group is a special group, what we have here in the moment. And um, yeah, we really should. You, you don't have a guarantee. And you, I know in, in the public perception, it's always like this you win it and it was fantastic, and you, you, you lose it, and it was like useless that you even tried it. That's the world we are living in. And um, But here we go, and there's, there's only one chance to find out. Um, uh, to find out who will win the 
the, the, the FA Cup by playing it and we will give it a real go. That's the plan. Against opponent who will do the same and that's why it's football and it's so, such a great game to watch. It will be 50-50 in the stadium, obviously blue and red, fantastic. Um, we had only a few weeks ago another final which felt like a, a World Cup final to be honest. Um, And um, yeah, and a lot of them are Liverpool supporters, so that's cool. Hopefully, we can use that power. What would it mean, Jurgen, or would it mean anything in terms of not just winning another major trophy, but obviously you're trying to win all four? In terms of that momentum that you you're building up, yeah, well, it would be very helpful. Um, but it was, what does it mean? It's, it's always when you when you go for um, three or four um, trophies, then it's always clear that we either we get it or we don't get it. Uh, we, I cannot change that now. We, we, that we, we have. Um, I had yesterday kind of a media day, a few media appointments, and in the, sa in the same in the same room, I had to talk about Real Madrid and Chelsea two finals. So it's like. <laughs> So I'm not even close to Real Madrid. I have no idea until then what will happen until then, these kind of things. But because of the things we have to do, it's, it's like this. So obviously it's a pretty busy season. Um, but it will never happen. It will never happen that, that the FA Cup final like just is a, we, we, we see as a normal game. It's an absolutely special game. Massive, massive, massive. Um, uh, for some of us, the biggest in their career. And um, we really want to want to uh, enjoy that as well and, and we want to deliver it for our people that's clear um, and between now and tomorrow I have a few hours to prepare to have the boys to prepare properly and um, the longer we talk here the less of time I have there so um, but it's um, it's a big one for us thank you thank you Carl from uh, BBC Merseyside and then oh. Carl from Press Association and James. wow um, Carl and Carl here yes, it's gets really confusing <laughs> Um, you couldn't celebrate the Premier League title with your fans. So much satisfaction does it give you that you've given them three finals, three trips to Wembley. I know you want to win them too, but you create special memories, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, we couldn't celebrate the Carabao Cup because it was in the middle. It was the weekend? The middle of the week was the weekend. But we couldn't celebrate because probably we played three days later. If 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 we win the FA Cup, we can't celebrate it because we play three days later in Southampton. So. Actually, when we won the cup with Dortmund, um, we had a parade. Yeah, you might think we are crazy, but that really it's really big. We here we have we play Southampton pretty much um, instead of a parade. Possible, um, yeah. But that we had really I said it loud yesterday in a different meeting. Um, um, if you cannot enjoy this season, I have no idea. So until now, I know the icing on the cake we have to produce now, but if you can enjoy now, I can't help. Because it's outstanding what the boys deliver. Yes, we all wish we would be 20 points ahead of Man City and everything would be even greater, but that's not the world we are living in. So we are in a, in a, live in a world where the, our, 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 the, the teams we face every week are incredibly strong. And in a season like this, delivering the consistencies the boys, the consistency the boys delivered, especially in this, now in this part since January, it's insane. Um, yeah, but now we go for that. I'm really happy for the people um, that they can be part of this journey and actually the, 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 the main reason for this journey. Um, but now we have to be ready to keep fighting because now it's getting really exciting and um, that's clear. And tomorrow is the first, the first the, since we won the Carabao Cup, the first um, big final um, of the last two weeks um, of the season. And yeah. How I said, the longer we talk here, the less the time I have to prepare the team. Thank you, Carl. We'll go to the back of the room and come up and for one for PA, then James Pearson. Yes, that's it. I think I'll be there. Your midfield three have been, you've been rotating basically four players for those three positions. You've moved with now Fabinho out. How, you know, what opportunity offers Curtis came in, in, in the week? Um, what opportunity offers the likes of Curtis, Lily, even players like Harvey and very important part. They played all the time. Very important part. These few minutes in a week where we can really train 
uh, without these boys show, with these boys showing that to the shoulder hole here. Uh, we have no chance to deliver the performances we delivered. That's absolutely 100% true. Um, and we will see. Now we have to players might be, we might play tomorrow 90 minutes. We play might play 120 minutes. That will not change the kickoff time for the Southampton game. Um, depending on the result from City on Sunday, then uh, we go for something or not or whatever. We we, we will be see that at Southampton. But then we need to be ready for that game. So um, and we have to make decisions then again. Um, yeah, enough options for the moment. Um, uh, yeah, the job is now to find the right one. So that's it. Thanks, Carl, to finish this press conference, James. <laughs> yeah, earlier on this week, UEFA announced the new format for the Champions League from 2024. I just wondered what your thoughts were on it. The, the I had no time to really have the. Games. Yeah, no, more games is always a bad idea, to be honest. Always a bad idea. But um, I spoke r quite frequently about that. Um, and. Uh, Obviously, nobody's interested. So, but um, um, that's okay. Uh, but uh, I had no time really to, to get in detail in the details. So I heard a little bit about it. I knew before what what plan these kind of things. But I had no time to really get an opinion about it. So nothing to say. Just um, the UEFA president earlier on this week said he'd spoken to one of the managers in the final about the ticket allocation. I just wondered, if, have you had a conversation with him, and if so. Did, did he explain to you and were you happy with the answers you got? He didn't name the manager he spoke to, did he? No, he didn't. So he kept that private. Yeah, so it's up to you whether he wants to do that. Yeah, yeah, it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't speak, he, he texted me. Um, so yeah, he texted me. So, um, uh, yeah, so I obviously was, was said what I said. And I think should be more tickets for our supporters, stuff like this. And then he, I think the same explanation pretty much he gave publicly. And with, uh, what is it, 93% of the money go to the clubs and and the feet in the way for that's only a few euros um and i i replied and said okay that's one of these situations where obviously better um should be have more information before you give answers the problem is only i i cannot constantly be perfectly prepared for these kind of things but i still have an opinion so it's fine so i will try to clarify that that what i do now here i didn't know obviously enough about it uh, but i said as well um in this Conversation because he start, has said now obviously that he, that he spoke to me. I said as well the reason why I'm not so in such a good mood when I speak about UEFA or stuff like that is because of the Nations League. I still think that's one of the most ridiculous ideas in the world of football because now we finish a, situ a, a season where players played more than 70 games easily. So just club games 63, 64 plus international stuff like they go direct in 75, which is really mad. And we, we continue with. Nations League games because we have to play them. There's no tournament. This one, oh, no, well, who cares? And we play four, five, six, whatever games with the national teams. So I said that's the reason because um, I would prefer the UEFA would take more money from the Champions League final and kick out the Nations League again. That would be my preferred solution um, in the end, and more tickets for the people anyway. So my personal opinion, I read about maybe I have still not all informations, but I cannot more do than say my opinion. Sorry, five very final question, Neil Jones, then we had to Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I gave you enough, eh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Thank you so much for watching the video. If you would like to check out redmenplus.com, our Liverpool streaming service and bonus content site that gives you more Redmen TV studio shows and documentaries, features and interviews, as well as a whole lot of podcast content as well. Head to redmenplus.com by clicking the button, uh, go and subscribe, and yeah, fill your boots on amazing Liverpool content.